What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meme here for breakfast. I have no water again. It's it's terrible. It's terrible. What's going on? Uh, I woke up at six. Um, I I don't know. I did my thing, I guess. Uh, I I woke up at six. I exercised. Sorry guys, I'm kind of scatterbrained right now. Yeah, so I walked five miles from 6.54 to 8.32. It took an hour and 29 minutes. I burned 862 calories and my average heart rate was 133. It went well. Um, and yeah, so then I went back upstairs, took a shower. Uh, I made a pot of coffee. I made, uh, I, I heated up my mom's leftover pizza that she's letting me have. And then I installed Debian onto my Minecraft server. Um, I need Debian experience, and you look at the workplace, and it's all run in Debian. So, uh, you know, Arch and Debian seem very similar. You know, they're both GNU Linux, right? But, um, you know, uh, like I didn't, until today, I didn't even know that Debian doesn't have a wheel group by default. You know, I'm so used to, you know, Arch and Arch-based distributions, and they always have the wheel group that you add to the, that you permit to the sudo or, sudoers file, right, to use sudo. Uh, when I think, I think do as is better, but, you know, I've only used sudo, right? And it's just so, um, wow, I'm suddenly really sleepy. Um, and it's just so crazy. Like, there's so many little things about Debian that I feel like would make me worse in the workplace when I'm working with Debian. Uh, and I think it's just great to, like, start using Debian as my main system now. Uh, yeah, I think that's just great. Um, I also did a separate home directory, and I also did it encrypted with LVM, which, you know, I never do. Um, my laptop's encrypted with LVM, but I did, um, I did Arch install on my laptop, so it's not even really real. I didn't really even install LVM, and that's the same with my laptop on my, for my Minecraft server, you know. I also didn't install LVM on there. I did, you know, the guided install, but uh, honestly, that's kind of worth, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, people talk about how uh, installing Arch teaches you about like the internals of a Linux machine. And I guess it does. And maybe I'm just biased because I've installed Arch so many times, uh, but it doesn't like, sure, like an Arch install does teach you about things, but it doesn't teach you about like, like inodes, and I just learned about inodes from my Linux class, you know? Um, and it, it doesn't teach you about like, like, and I don't think inodes are super important, but it doesn't teach you about like the things, you know, like th truly like the things about Linux that make it incredible, you know what I mean? Um, and you know, maybe people hear about the things about Linux that make it incredible and then they install Arch and then they get like a pretty base understanding of like, like, I don't know, they learned what like an engine is, like Linux equivalent. But it's just not, it's not the same. I, like, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm probably going to install Debian testing onto my computer. For those of you who don't know, it's basically just Debian stable. Uh, you, you install Debian stable, it's the same, uh, except right when you install, um, you're like, hey, point toward the testing repository instead of the stable repository. Um, and then it's like, okay, so then it updates everything and it's a little bit more rolling release. Uh, testing is pretty much, you know, uh, every Debian... It's raining. They said it was gonna snow. Um, every Debian stable release, it's like three years of them testing every single package to see if it works, uh, with everything well, and it usually does, right? Um, and it's implemented in the stable release, and then the stable release is released. Uh, but with Debian testing, um, it's all the stuff that they're testing, right? Um, so, you know, it's, uh, it's not, like, confirmed to, like, not break anything, but it's way less bleeding edge than Arch, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's nice. It seems like a really comfy system, and whenever I'm on a desktop thread and somebody has a, a Debian U-Fetch, I'm always a little jealous, because everybody has an Arch Neo-Fetch, but only the real ones have a Debian U-Fetch. Um, but yeah, you know, that, that's it. Uh, for lunch, I had some stew and for dinner, I had 
we made like chicken wings in the oven, like fro I think they were frozen chicken wings, they're in the freezer. Uh, they were pretty good. I don't know, they were fine. I don't really like chicken wings that much. Um, you know, maybe I'm just some sort of, some sort of soy boy who likes only boneless wings, right? But, um, I just find the act of eating bone-in wings just a very messy and unnecessary one. It sort of makes me feel like a caveman, um, and it's just so much trouble. It's so much trouble dealing with this bone that doesn't have to be there. You know, you could just be eating chicken without a bone, but you choose to have a bone in, and you voluntarily make your experience worse, you know? And it's just not a great... It's not good UX, you know, uh, bone and wings. Um, but, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, so then I removed another SSD from my computer that I um, wiped. Um, and I put it in an anti-static bag and I put the enclosure in an anti-static bag. And, you know, that went pretty well. Pretty soon I'm going to start removing hard drives and SSDs from my computer internally. And that'll be pretty fun when that happens. But, um, you know, until then, uh, I'm just, oh, also, <laughs> now that, you know, if I, if what I said before wasn't soy, this is extra soy, right? Uh... Okay. Um... Yeah, check this out. Um, I found out that if you go to stickermule.com slash Unix stickers, uh, you can get a whole bunch of these Linux stickers for one dollar. <laughs> and that's crazy. Uh, sadly, they don't have a, this computer uses Debian sticker, which I'm going to be using, but they do have a system that uses RH and Vim. <laughs> I'll probably add the Vim one just for fun. Um, but, and they do have a Debian sticker. Uh, the thing is, is that they have a, this elite pack with like um, a machine that uses Debian sticker and they have this fun like uh, local host sticker and a fun, um, like a fun GNU sticker, you know, and you know, especially, you know, you look at the ultimate pack, um, you've got, um, there was one that I really liked here. Oh, you've got the fork bomb <laughs> sticker and, and that's fun, right? But, um, you know, this is $19 and this is $24, but $1, that's basically free. So I got two of these, two of these $1 packs, plus free shipping, which is just crazy. I got two of these packs for um, $2.21 per, um, per $2.21 plus tax, not per anything. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. And apparently my friend's dad gets stuff from Sticker Mule. So I just learned that. Apparently they send hot sauce to people. Um, yeah. And that is um, pretty much it. Yeah, see you, dude.